Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Homemade sweets. Now, homemade sweets is something that we all enjoy and when it comes to laddus, I think uh, laddus are really special. So today we are going to do a nice basin laddu recipe and uh, we are going to make it with very few ingredients but the technique is very very important. So make sure you follow the tips and techniques to get the perfect basin laddu. So let's get started and check out the recipe. So to make the powdered sugar, just add half cup of granulated white sugar. I'm adding a few cardamom seeds. For basin laddu, it's good to use powdered sugar. And it's got a nice fragrance of cardamom in it. So I'm just going to roast a few cashew nuts. Just roast it till they turn nice golden colour. Remove and keep it aside. To the pan, add quarter cup of ghee. Next, add two cups of gram flour, that is basin. This is a 250 ml cup. So we're going to cook the basin in ghee. So you have to do this on a medium low flame, otherwise it can get burnt pretty fast. So roast this for about 20 minutes so that the raw smell goes and you get a nice toasted smell from the gram flour. You need to constantly mix the basin so that it cooks well and all the raw smell goes. You can see it's got this nice crumbly texture. Add a teaspoon of ghee and mix it into the basin mixture. After 5 minutes, add another teaspoon of ghee and continue to cook. You can see it's becoming nice and crumbly. Gently mash it like this with a nice heavy spatula if you have one. So I've added about 4 teaspoons of ghee at intervals. After adding the 4th teaspoon of ghee, cook for another 10 minutes. And you can see the flour becomes into lumps like this. And you can see the ghee releasing. Just gently press it with a spatula and break it down. So once you do this, turn off the stove. Transfer the mixture to a bowl. Let it come to room temperature. It's pretty hot. Now add 1.5 cups of powdered sugar. Mix the basin mixture along with the powdered sugar. So the mixture is coming together beautifully. You can see I've crumbled it very nicely. The powdered sugar is mixed very nicely along with the basin mixture. So just crumble it with your palms. Make sure you do it when the mixture is a little bit warm. You don't want it to become too cold. So gradually add the ghee till you are able to bind it into a nice laddu shape. Now add the chopped roasted cashew nuts. Mix it in. Now gradually pour the ghee. So adding melted ghee would be a better option. Just add very little at a time. This has to be a very gradual process till you get the right binding consistency. The mixture is turned into a nice dough consistency by gradually adding the ghee. So this is good. Now you can roll it into laddus. Take a little ghee, apply on your palms. Take a little bit of the basin laddu mixture and start rolling it into small laddus. There you go, here is a simply delicious basin laddu that literally melts in your mouth. So make sure uh, you take your time and do it slowly and follow all the steps and techniques to get the perfect laddus. So do try the recipe, enjoy, share it with your family and friends.